I want to see it. Oh, I love this view every time I come here. Especially when the water's a little bit lower. It's normally up to about where my truck tire is. You can see the leaves have changed. Last time I was here, there was like no leaves. So things are warming up. It's actually 80 degrees. It's funny when 80 degrees feels like a really hot day, but you're like, oh yes, it's finally here. But I'm just gonna get my kayak, unload it right here. We'll get out here and start fishing. That's crazy, I'm over here sweating already. Oh no, I think I just broke my kayak. My back seat mounts have to come off. Just, uh, they're just taped on there. But I sat on an angle and it pushed them over. So I was wondering if they would hold up. They've held up a long time. So my seat's a little bit of an angle right now, but we'll fix that later. It's not gonna be a problem right now. Kind of feels a little weird, but we can fish out of it. It's shady up in here. Come on, there's a bass in here, I know. Yep. Dude, third cast. I knew they'd be eating this thing. Oh yeah. Oh man, we're right by the bank, third cast. Number one, my goal today is trying to get my best five like I would in a tournament. I'm, trying to, I'm doing a little tournament practicing, sorta. Let's see what I can get today. 14 and a quarter, first fish. Big, big one, but solid fish. Little fat spotted bass. Keeper number two. I threw the chatterbait and I saw him follow it, but he didn't hit it. Threw back in there with the umdinger. Got him. All right, before I put this fish on the board, let's talk about uh, our tournament we got going on. So knucklehead tournament starts in May. And I got this fish, I don't know if you see here, he's on a little leader with a little gripper to hold on to him. This is something you can do to hold on to your fish to get organized. Sometimes what I'll do is stick them in the net and just leave the net in the water. But let me just kind of go through it. So the knucklehead tournament, we're doing it. We did it last year, we're doing it again. How did this guy jump up in my boat? Calm down there, fish. Now, of course, I want everyone to go read the rules before you do anything. Um, you gotta join KBF and I think it's like a yearly subscription things not very much and each tournament is $25 per month um, it's different than last year so a lot of things are changing next year probably gonna be different than this year so um, you sign up $25 for the month of May and if you want to do June July August you can do it as you go I would suggest just going as paying as you go and uh, I think that's the way you can do it you can sign up for two people's tournaments at a time because some people are trying to win a bunch of them but so this will make it easier so last year if you got discouraged I'd encourage you to jump on and try to do this again um, if you got discouraged by your fish not getting uploaded or this and that, then just try it again. This is a good little test to get people involved in tournament fishing. Also, just get out and fish more. You, you push yourself to fish more when you're trying to catch a limit of five. So you got five fish for the limit for the month of uh, May. So this, this one doesn't count, but I'm just doing a little practice run. And let me show you a couple things you're gonna need. Obviously, you need to be having a life jacket. Uh, if you're in a kayak and you're doing any tournament, you gotta have a life jacket on. Other than, you know, your kayak requirements, public water, a catch board, and um, I'll, leave, I'll try to leave links. And I think um, if you sign up for KBF, you get discounts for a lot of this stuff. And what I really like is this catch, um, this is a catch brand identifier holder, and it slides up and down, and it's out of the way for the fish. So um, you have to use the correct uh, KBF identifier. This is an old one I have. And um, you, you print them off and you cut them out in little squares. You put the, uh, the ID number for that month, which we don't have it yet, obviously, but whenever you do, and you put it on there, then that way it's right here and you take a picture of the fish. So let's practice one, lay my board down here. I like to lay it right down in front of me and I'm gonna point the camera down and we're gonna walk it through taking a photo. 
All right, minimum length is 12 inches. First off, um, so sometimes, I, I just learned this here recently, that this little fin right here, if it gets pointed up, the fish won't lay down right. So make that, make sure that fin's down, kind of have that fish slide it up. Make sure your um, board was wet, but it's already drying out. Dry it out, push it up to where the mouth is closed. Mouth has to be closed. You can't have your hand up here. You can't have your hand back here. So you wanna, if you wanna hold it, kind of get it right here in the middle, get those things the fins right there and this one is 12 and three quarters so i'm gonna take my phone don't get too close make sure the identifier is on there make sure you got everything covered try not to have your hand you know remember there's uh rules on that you can look and see so each term is different and if i can i want to get a picture without my fishing hand that's kind of stuff that happens so what i normally do is i have a net right here i don't have it right now but i'll, I'll put my net right here to kind of hold the side you know, get everything ready to go. All right, get this fish on here. Close his mouth. Hold him. Oh, he popped it back open. Kind of push him against it a little bit. Hold the phone back up. Click where you cover everything. You don't want to cut anything off. You can stick him back on your leader if you want and check your photo. If you think your photo is good, you go ahead and put him back in the water. So this is a catch and release tournament. So we don't want to kill the fish and we're not you're not t catching these fish to take home. Obviously, and don't endanger yourself. If you're going down, you know, you, you're in a, you get caught in some current or something, you wanna make sure you are okay right before the fish. So you're more important, but get off on the bank like I did over here on the side or get somewhere. If you're in a lake, you know, where it's calm, get it, uh, everything organized, get that photo. So this is gonna be through the Fishing Chaos app. So make sure you have the Fishing Chaos app downloaded. Uh, there's different notifications. So if you've never done this before, even if this is your first time this year, Take some pictures of those fish, upload them right away from their spot. Make sure everything goes through because I've done this before and my photos didn't go through on a tournament and because I, I didn't have something right. So you want to do this early, get it all right, get everything organized. If you do lots of tournaments, you kind of, you got this down. But people that don't do a lot of them, it can get a little frustrating. So I got two fish. I got a, what was it, what, 14 and a quarter? And that one was 12 and three quarters, I believe. I actually didn't get a photo because I'm using my phone to record. You can, like I said, you can upload that fish right away or, you, ooh, something jumped over there. Or you can't wait till you get home. But if you wait till you get home, sometimes, that's where I messed up one time. My, um, my location wasn't turned on like I thought it was. So if you can, I would rather I'd submit it right away. That way, if you're in a day of fishing and uh, you submit it and there's somebody kind of watching them, if they, if they see it in time, they can say, hey, you messed up on this one. And you can correct it before you don't ruin all the fish catches. Tournament starts May 1st. You can sign up now. I am going to have some giveaways for the top three people. So obviously first place you get to make the team and make the team means you get to go down to Gunnersville and fish with me and three other winners. So there'd be five of us in Gunnersville fishing against, um, I think 10 to 12 other teams. And the first place prize is 5,000. I think second place is like 2,000 and third is 1,000, something like that. So there's some, there's some good prizes that you can be qualified to win. There's other stuff. There's the kayaks giving away there's other th other stuff going on so this is going to be really fun i'm going to enjoy to see uh who's participating uh how good everybody does so i'm, I'm out here fishing right now i'm gonna get back to it try to catch me some more fish i was coming up to the river i was on the phone kind of i was just looking at some cows and i looked i heard saw something flopping around over here look at this there's a turtle upside down stuck he must have heard me and like tried to get away and fell over what in the world I'm about to save a turtle's life uh it's a big old soft shell turtle where's his head at they're back of their um i don't want to get him claw me back of their shell is rubbery See how it's like rubbery like that? I'm afraid he's gonna climb me. All right, I'm gonna try to flip him over with my paddle. They're a very fast turtle. No, that's not his head. Where is his head? Claw, claw. I don't know where his head's at. Fin, fin. All right. Man, thing's heavy. Wow, look how fast it is. They're fast on land too. Well, save the turtle. Add that to the list of things I did good today. We got a 
fish. Oh, why didn't you eat it? Oh. Looking at it. There's something looking at it right underneath me. Look cows over here too. I've seen some fish. I don't know why they're not coming out. They're not eating super aggressively. Hey cows. Got cooling off in the water too. Looks like the place to be right there, Alex. Nice. Number three, another spotted bass. It's been a little bit. I ain't got, I missed a couple. Probably about this size. I think he might be just a little short. Hold on back. I keep expecting that big one. There's a, uh, the way it's getting warm. I feel any second, I'm like I can just get a monster. What's that? What's that? What did I get? Oh! Look at a white bass. Wow, are those out there? Might. Damn. I'll take those, I can get them. Oh my goodness, I got thumped. All right, there's something out here. I think I think there's some big white bass in this pocket. We might try fish for them a little bit. I'm throwing a big chatterbait. I'm probably gonna have to downsize. There's one. Okay. Whoa, that's stronger. What is that? Nice. Ooh, that is a nice one. If they're this big, I won't have to downsize. Look at that. It doesn't count as a uh, fish for the tournament, but I'd like to see how long it is. Ooh, he's 15 inches long. That was nice. All right, we might have found something to fish for for a little bit. Goodness, those things stomp at lure. There's a nice white bass. Yeah. Gotta get a little deeper. What is that, Chad? White bass. Oh, 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 that's not a little fish. That's a big fish. I don't know if I snagged it or if I caught it, but it's a big fish. Gonna need the net. Oh, I snagged it, I think. What did I snag? Ah. <laughs> uh. What is it? I got it in the top of uh, the gills. I want to see it. <laughs> this is going to be, I think it's a carp. It'll take a minute to get this thing in. Oh, let me get this in. Ah, 
Better back, had him in the top pin. Let's try to get a picture of it. It's about a 10 pound buffalo, I think. Its scales are weird feeling. Buffalo, I, I snagged it in the top fin. Here in just a second, we're gonna get into explaining a little bit more detail how to go into and setting up and uh, signing up for the tournament. And but, but before we get into that, what I want to you know push and what I want everyone to do is, is have fun. I put, uh, I value having fun while fishing way more than trying to make money or trying to beat someone else. I'd rather have fun and get my teeth kicked in by other people than have a miserable day and win because winning is fun a little bit, but having a miserable day fishing is just miserable. Nobody wants to have that. You notice in this video, if you watch it all the way through, I think the most fun thing I had was catching, was snagging that fish at the end. And I, I think it's a buffalo. I don't even sure, but that was probably the coolest thing that happened to me. I caught some bass. Those white bass were pretty fun, but, but just, just snagging something random. I love having fun while fishing. So don't let this take away from you having fun. But what I have noticed is when I do focus, like go after bigger fish or like getting in a tournament, it, it, it hits a different switch with me where I, I enjoy that competition and I enjoy that challenge. So if you've never done tournament fishing, I suggest trying stuff like that, whether it's this one or you enter one uh, somewhere else. It's, it's kind of a fun little switch and a lot of if you're you know competitive or you did sports that were you know were competitive i can turn it off and on when i'm competitive when i played basketball i all that day i was i didn't care I, you could beat me in anything in school or whatever in my grades or in any kind of other competition but when it became time to that basketball game i wanted to be the best person out there and i and i still do that while fishing i want to be that best person i want to win that tournament when i'm out there fishing but not, I don't want it to take away from me enjoying my fishing day and also just enjoying fishing in general. I just want to make that clear because I don't want people to, you know, try to try to enter this and then get frustrated by it. So if this frustrates you, then then don't do it. And just do the things that are going to make you enjoy and make you relax. Let fishing be relaxed and fun for you. But let's, uh, if you are interested and you're still watching, I'm going to show you how to kind of get into the tournament if you haven't done it. And if you have done it before, here's a little bit of information. Let's get right into it. Okay, so let's go to the Fishing Chaos. I got this on my computer here, and it's called Fishing Chaos. You're also gonna need to download the app for that. So um, once you're there, but you can go on the website, you can go to it, and there's lots of different tournaments. If you didn't know, there's there's all kinds of different tournaments out there. A Guggen tournament you can enter in, Tyler's Real tournament, you know, a lot of different ones that people have put out there. And um, uh, easiest thing to do is to go search and do knucklehead, or you could do creek. But let's go knucklehead, see what pulls up. And here's all the different teams. Chad, Bearded Dad, Jay from Bearded Dad. And then, of course, right here, that's the one you want to click on, Team Creek over here. But in case you were wondering, uh, you wanted somebody else's team, maybe you're, you know, Team Window. They won last year. You got Fluke Master, you got Alex Rudd. Also, quick note, me and Alex are probably going to team up to uh, maybe get a uh, house together. Um, we've talked about that. It's, we fish all the time. And uh, he's like, it'd be cool to kind of get a house down there with our uh, team winners. We got Gramps, Freedom Squad, Greenfish. I was just on his podcast. Also, I'm going to be participating in a uh, the captain's challenge. So we're going to have our own challenge that's going to be going on. So I'm going to have to try to catch me some fish. So let's say uh, we're going to go to Team Creek. Click on that. Here we are. And you're going to go register. We got nine people signed up right now. I'm hoping for way over, I would love to see 50. If we could do 50 a month, um, I, I have a few prizes that I think are going to be worthwhile just for, you know, the top two or three places that don't win the first place prize. And I may even give out some random things like some gift cards and just nothing, nothing crazy. I'm not, I don't think we're having any giant giveaways, but just some stuff to kind of, you know, give back to the people that participate and um, put, put an effort into it. Also, it's kind of be fun to see where you can, you know, where you rank. 
you know. And if we if there's only ten or twelve anglers, you got a really good chance of winning first place. So um, you know, you may have to look into that also. So you're gonna register, but before we do that, a couple things I want to go over. Um, here's the overview. Let's click on that. The Knucklehead Series overview. And there's a video right here. I'll go ahead and show you that. I'm not going to show you the whole video, but it takes you to an ad. After the ad's over. Hey guys, I'm I'm chatting with Kike Bass Fishing, and I'm excited Chad to Hoover, announce the 2024 so Knucklehead Bass Fishing go Series. This. For if this season, we're YouTube, doing things a little bit different, series, and we're doing it where all the captains are fishing for four months. We're starting May 1st. The tournament. Now let's go back. All right, things that you probably want to do. Competitor eligibility, KBF ambassador, premium or lifetime membership required. Join KBF. It's real simple and easy. Um, that way you're logged in. They got your email address. Um, you get several discounts on different things. And um, you get notifications on different discounts for kayaking. So if you're into kayaking, this is something I'd highly suggest doing, whether you're in the tournament or not. KBF competition rules. Yes, you want to go over the rules. You want to read all this stuff. If you've never read it, I just read through it again the other day, and I try to do this every year. You want to be updated. There is rules. There's a lot of different rules that you might not be familiar with As you know, that goes into a competition. We have to do things orderly, and um, there's rules to follow. 12-inch minimum, five fish. Now, every time, if you catch more than five fish, every time you catch a bigger one, you have submit it it'll automatically kick out the smaller one. So you catch all five 12 inches, you catch a 14, it's gonna kick out one of those 12s. You catch you know, a 15, it's gonna kick out a small one. So you keep catching bigger ones, you keep uploading them. You're gonna need to have the right identifier card. This is something I didn't know last year, it's starting. But you can print this card off real easy. You hit that button and it prints this. You take this and you cut out a square and you put it in your ID holder. Very simple. These squares are for the month. So month one, month two, month three, month four. Maybe you're doing uh, two online tournaments at the same time, which I've done that. Maybe you get three. You can just fill out one of these squares. You Maybe it's a different tournament. You can still use these to put these little squares and to uh, have your ID in. Eligible waters. Uh, you have to be in public accessible waters. No private launches or private waters like ponds or even private lakes has to be a public place you know if it's if you pay for the ramp that's that's a public access any kind of public access um of course read read through this uh read you know a couple other things this is sponsored by north alabama is where we're going to be don't going down and here we'll show you um the list of people you know that um where your fish at how many fish have you caught you get to watch it and you can look at it and see where you're at, see who's ahead of you, stuff like that. So, yeah, whenever you hit on the register button, you're going to register uh, you or, you know, maybe your kid or somebody. I don't want to show all that because uh, I had um, my information and I don't want everybody calling me and showing up at my house. But it'll, you go through that, set up everything. Very easy to do. And then once it uh, hits the, month, the month, May, they'll give you an identifier. I don't know. It'll show somewhere. It'll be the identifier. It'll also get emailed to you, but that'll be uh, at the first of the month. Hey, just quick. Uh, thanks so much for all the support, all the views and people are watching. And I know a lot of y'all are watching are not going to sign up for the knucklehead either one reason or another. You just, you can't do it, but all the people that do I appreciate your support and people that don't, I, I just kind of appreciate you watching along and you know, some of y'all like keeping up and just seeing what's happening. And if you know, last year, um, my team came in fourth and we were, we were a quarter inch away from being third. Well, this year, uh, they're paying the teams that win are paying out to third place. So last year was only, they only got paid one place and one team win all that. So this year is going to be a lot different. I'm going to try to make videos from the trips. I'm also going to be entering into my own tournament, uh, against the captains. So I'll be kind of, I'll be kind of like focused on trying to, you know, catch some bigger fish. And I got a couple places in mind, so these guys better watch out. So I, I got a couple places where I don't fish a lot, but I know hold some big fish that I might spend a little bit of extra time doing that. 
Well, I hope everyone has a good rest of the day or rest of the night, whatever time you're watching this. I know I have three or four more videos to edit that are full of fishing.